let's say you bought a security and it's, you know, uh, and you, you're looking at it and something's happening and you want to adjust your position. You know, you want to either put more in on that same security or maybe take some of your profits out, for example, or take some money out. And that's what we're going to talk about as far as adjusting positions. It's really changing the amount that's invested in an existing position. So this is not buying a new security. This is a security you're already in. Maybe it's going up, maybe it's going down, but you're already in the security and you want to adjust how much money you've invested in that, either up or down. And there's phrases for that. One is called scaling in, right? And that's basically simply I'm adding to my position, right? I'm putting more money in. Uh, that's going to increase my risk because now I put more money in and, and potentially my reward because I put more money in too. So that's the idea of scaling in. I, I have a feeling that things are going to go well and so and it's maybe already going well right now. So I'm going to put a little bit more in to try to, you know, you know, capture even more profit and have more profit because I'm putting more in. I'm going to put more risk, but I want to get more rewards. So that's putting money in is scaling in. Scaling out is taking money out, right? That's reducing a position. And the idea is I'm trying to reduce my risk. I'm trying to reduce my exposure. I might miss out. You know, maybe I've invested and in maybe it's gone well. I've got some profits, but now I want to take some profits out of there by not selling the entire position, but now I want to adjust my position and scale a bit of it out, scale out and take some of those profits out and leave some in to ride up a little bit higher maybe too. So um, scaling in or scaling out is again, adjusting your position within uh, something you've already, uh, you've already invested in. So the most important question and the first question to ask yourself when you're looking at adjusting a position is to really truthfully, honestly ask yourself, why? Why am I doing this, right? You know, do you, why do you want to adjust your position? Is it just a feeling? Maybe you feel good because the, the security has been good, so it's been a gut feeling, like I just kind of feel good about it. Uh, well, that's not a great reason. Um, <laughs> from a technical analysis standpoint, you know, you have to go with your gut. Uh, somebody said something on TV. That's a common one too. Like, oh, my, my investment's done well. Oh, somebody said some good stuff on my TV, so now I'm going to put more money in. You know, again, not true technical analysis. I would, I would be cautious on that too. Um, sometimes you just come into some more money, right? You got a bonus at work or inheritance or something, or you decide you want to take some of your savings and put a little bit more into your trading account because you're feeling more comfortable, you're seeing some results, you're seeing some profits. So now that you've added more money to your trading account, you can start using that to either create some new positions or maybe you have a good position you want to scale into, you can add some more money into that as well. Or maybe you're seeing other opportunities out there where you're scaling out where I want to take some money out of a profitable position and maybe I'm looking, that might be starting to run its course, but I'm not fully out of it yet. I want to let it run a little bit more. I want to take a little money out because I see another security I want to, and why I want to invest in. So, you know, that's more around money management. That's not a bad idea as far as adjusting your position around money management. Just don't, you're not doing it on a gut feeling. And really, uh, what really we want to drive this all around is, a, is technical analysis, right? This whole idea of trading. Uh, and buying and selling. So your indicators are telling you something that might you know, say to yourself, why am I doing this? Well, because my indicator is saying something to either buy or sell, or buy is in a scale up or sell, scale down, uh, based on what the indicator is telling me. And that's always a good reason as far as you know, making a trading decision and adjusting your position. So if we think about that scaling and scaling out, you know, scaling and increasing our position, you know, maybe something's changed with you where your risk appetites change, right? As you learn and as you apply your trading knowledge, you you'll, you might be more comfortable taking on more risk. And so uh, maybe we start with smaller amounts of money. It's not a bad idea. First paper trade, but after that, you know, with fake money, but after that, maybe you want to put in smaller amounts, but now you're like, you know what, I can, I'm feeling more comfortable, I can put in a little bit more. And I like this existing position, so I'm going to put a little bit more into that one because I'm willing to take on a little more risk to get that reward. And there's another thing where you might scale in and use a technique called pyramiding, you know, kind of like a pyramid, right? And the idea is you have some built-in profits already. You're kind of playing with house money. You've had a nice trend up and you've got some profits, right? And then you're adding funds and then you're going to adjust your stop loss to protect those gains, right? So I'm kind of that pyramid, that trend is like a pyramid where it's kind of going up or the whole thing's going up. So it's gone up. Um, now I'm like, okay, I'm going to adjust my stop loss up to protect those gains. And I'm going to put a little bit more in uh, because I've, I've raised my stop loss up that even if with the new money, if it goes back down, I've got my stop loss to stop me here and lock in the previous gains and minimize my losses, maybe if I put something new in. And if it keeps going up, then I can adjust my stop loss to follow along with it. So that's the idea of pyramiding. You're kind of playing with house and money. You've had some profit. 
you're locking that profit with your stop loss, and then you're putting more in to scale in because you feel good because your indicators are telling you it's still good to keep investing in it, uh, but you're adjusting your stop loss to protect those gains and you're protecting the new money at the same time from a significant loss. Scaling out some ideas around that as far as reducing your position. Again, that's all about money management. We're looking at money management and we're trying to reduce our exposure. Maybe there's some big news that's coming up, right? There's something going on where uh, you know there's a big news event, uh, something that's going to come coming up that's on the calendar. Uh, it might be a government type thing that they're talking about with currency or if you're looking at securities that might be stock-based securities, you're looking at a company event. Something's happening that you know is going to be coming. There's going to be an announcement. Maybe it's a presidential election. You're not sure which way it's going to go. There's something coming. So you might want to scale out or take some of the money out prior to that news event if you're really kind of concerned about which way that news event might go, especially if you think it goes not in your favor, then you might be able to you know, drop real quickly. Again, that's where stop losses will help protect you a little bit too. Or you want to use, so you want to scale out, I mentioned a little bit before, where you want to use that money for a more attractive trade. Maybe you're, you've invested and something's gone up real nicely and you feel real good about it, but it's starting to lose steam. Your indicator's saying it's starting to kind of peak out. You might see some exhaustion coming there. You know, like, well, let me take some of those profits out and put it over here because I got a great trading opportunity over here based on my indicators. So I have less money risk there that I've already locked in those gains by taking it out and now I'm putting it in another trade. So that's scaling out as far as reducing your position. And so you see a lot of things around scaling in and scaling out. You're gonna combine your indicators you know, to, to help you understand logically what to do, uh, but then you're using things like money management and risk appetite and things like that to kind of look at overall from a more holistic standpoint as far as adjusting your positions in there. And again, not gut, don't have a gut feeling <laughs> on it. Use your indicators. And lastly, always ask yourself, why? Really be critical to yourself on that question of why. Why am I doing this? And if it makes sense to you, do it. If it doesn't, well then, you know, then don't do it. You know, it should be a real clear, that, that you should be able to clearly explain the why behind that you want to do this. So good luck with scaling in and out. It's a great way to kind of adjust and manage your money.